Hey guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Brought you out here today on an awesome August day. Probably one of the few days this month it'll rain and lucky me, today's our uh, lucky day for a video on this one. So this is a QSA 7x16, 14,000 pound dump trailer. It's got the full width bifold gate. Awesome setup. That is the feature of today's video. This particular unit is stock other than this gate option. Not something for everybody, but definitely a cool trailer for a handful of, uh, say, niche applications. There's really not much like it in the industry. About the only other trailer that I would say has something kind of like it, and it is different, would be the BYS Ultimate Dump. Uh, this is a, I don't want to say poor man's version of it, because that's not really what this is. But uh, to some degree, it would be kind of similar, I guess, to that. So anyway, the bifold gated tobacco we'll get to, that is the, I'll say, key feature that kind of makes this a different, unique trailer. But I'll go over all the features of this particular unit. It's up front, adjustable coupler. It's a 2 and 5 16th inch ball. Setback 7,000 pound jack. If you've never had one, you simply pull a pin at the bottom. It'll go in and out. Gives you plenty of extension, no need for carrying around uh, wood blocks or similar. Jack is bolt-on instead of uh, weld-on. Does make it nice for some extra versatility. You've got an oversized toolbox. Of course, your battery and your pump. And then you've got some extra room. Gas shock, keys on the box. It is lockable. This particular unit has a telescopic hoist standard. Telescopic hoist is the most deluxe lift that we offer on this particular unit you can also get a dual piston as well so two foot sides are standard and then you've got the bulkhead front and rear that gets you one foot of additional you've got stake pockets going down the sides uh, if you'd like to build the sides up but again if you just want to do a one foot side uh, just the front and rear bulkhead uh, should do that so you've got a six inch tube full wrap tongue comes back to your spring hangers six inch tube mainframe and then you've got your four inch tube bed frame now one thing on this a lot of cross members in the industry are made out of form steel or or three inch structural channel this is actually made with uh tube steel and then it's actually got a center draw bar going uh perpendicular i'm sorry parallel uh the length of the trailer you've got tread plate fenders with your fender gussets slipper spring suspension this actually has the um the uh grease dirt on this slipper spring for some extra serviceability a 23580 r16 10 ply load range e uh, radial tire standard equipment uh, you'll notice on the 14 and 16 foot models the jack stands are standard equipment as well so your rear jack stands then again the key feature on this would be the gate now this is a I'll say six foot roughly, six and a half foot ramp till it's fully extended, about the same as a normal dump. What makes this unique uh, would be the fact that you cover more area at the back and once you get about three foot or so up, you get to a solid ramp. Uh, generally, you'd wanna have two hands for this, but I will show you today that you can actually even do it with one hand. So some extra hinges on the gate, standard equipment. You also notice that while this will act as a ramp, this will still side hinge and open up like a traditional barn door, which is what a lot of folks will use. So first of all, you've got a safety pin. So I'm gonna slide that past and pull that pin out. We've got a retainer here. So now it's opened up. Now we just gotta undo the release because it is a bifold and simply Pull it out. Now it does have a gas shock on it, which makes this again pretty doable to use with one hand. Now this particular uh, extension ramp on the bar, it will slide all the way. So if you want to slide this and the other side both together, you can do that. Again, it, it's surprisingly handy ramp setup. I just deployed it with one hand, slid it to the side. Pretty. Pretty slick setup. I would say this unit would be awesome for an ideal, I'll say a concrete contractor maybe that's uh, working in an area where 
Uh, they got a wheelbarrow material up in. Uh, maybe somebody even it has mulch. Maybe they're in a spot where they don't have a machine. Uh, they want to be able to wheelbarrow up and down. Um, we've had all kinds of different applications that uh, that like this particular setup. It does have expanded mesh on the ramp for uh, some extra traction going up. Uh, your ramp itself is wider as well. Traditional dump ramp, you're going to get uh, roughly a 15 inch ramp, uh, maybe a 16 inch. This here is about 20, 21 inch ramp. If you slide the two of them together, of course you'll be double net. And they do come pretty well all the way together. Those ramps only have about an inch gap or so between them. and You can slide it pretty well completely to the end. So again, not for everybody, but it is a pretty slick setup. So again, you've got the bifold ramp or you can also use it as a barn door. So uh, you can release it with the bar here and that gate will hinge on those four hinge and come all the way around. So pretty slick trailer. If, uh, if you're in an application or a business where it makes sense, great, this video is for you. It is a unique trailer. Uh, and again, quite honestly, other than maybe the ultimate dump, I don't know a whole lot in the industry that's got uh, kind of a gate like it. Uh, it does have just a hair more rearward weight. Um, due to that, the axles are slid back just a little bit. Uh, depends on the Lent trailer, a little bit more on a 12 footer, 16 footer uh, doesn't really change a whole lot. Um, but again, the, the gate itself, the actual net weight isn't a whole lot different. If you think about it, you've got a two foot gate standard on this, you got a solid three foot gate. So you pick up roughly an extra foot there, but you're also taking out a ramp holder. And then, you know, this ramp here is cut basically uh, in half lengthwise. So it adds a little bit of rearward weight, but not, uh, not that substantial. So again, this is a QSA. Shown here is a seven by 16. We also stock this in a seven by 12 and seven by 14 as well. These are all 14,000 pound GVW. Trailer empty is gonna weigh in at around 4,000 or just a touch over 4,000 pounds. Uh, this particular unit will net about 10,000 pound legal payload plus some tongue weight to the truck side, typically 15% or roughly 2,000 pounds. If you have any questions on this or any of your other trailers, feel free to give us a ring, 717-220-4220. Or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.